Number one, there is a deliberate attempt in this country to force a two-thirds majority by ZANU-PF. ZANU-PF wants to get a two-thirds majority by hook or crook. That's why you have seen them systematically <laughs> deploying its proxy and an imposter to go and try and destabilize our members of parliament. Second, the intentions of ZANU-PF are very clear. And their end in all this is very clear. They try to make sure that ZANU-PF wants to create an opposition that it leads itself. We have rejected as a movement, we have rejected as triple C, the attempt to be co-opted into joining the gravy train because of trinkets and trappings of detectorship. That's why triple C is being punished for defeating Mr. Nangakwa, for defeating ZANU-PF in the watershed election. That's why you see the systematic attack on our movement. It is clear for all who care that ZANU-PF wants to make sure that Triple C does not have access to the political finance funds that is disentitled after winning more than 104 seats in parliament in a flawed process, winning a presidential election in a flawed process, and more importantly, sweeping 33 out of 34 seats in local authorities in this country. ZANU-PF has also advanced this crisis that they've created in their minds, sent to the Speaker of Parliament to ensure that the Triple C, as an alternative that emerged victorious in the election, is diverted, and Zimbabweans themselves are diverted from the key national question in this country. What is the national question? The question is very clear in this country, that the election on 23rd was flawed, that ZANU-PF, as its current composition, has no mandate from the people, because government is born out of an election, and an election that is free, fair, and credible. Lastly, ZANU-PF has been doing all these shenanigans as an attempt to try and weaken, as an attempt to try and embarrass the alternative, because we used our freedom to protest by not attending the opening, official opening of parliament, which was addressed by Mr. Mnangawa.